Alright, so another hint for you in your workbook. Um, page 18, question 29. In a bag there are 12 marbles. Four are red and the rest are green. Two marbles are drawn without replacement. So without replacement means we take a marble out and you eat it if you could, but you take a marble out and you don't put it back. So let's work on this probability tree. So if this is my start, I've got two options here. I can either get a red marble or a green marble. And there's 12 total and I've got four reds so I have a 4 out of 12 chance of getting a red marble. And the rest are green so four of them are red. That means 8 must be green because 4 plus 8 will get me 12. And that allows this branch up here to add up to 1 4 eighths and 12 eighths. Sorry, 4 twelfths and 8 twelfths will add up to 1 total. Now if I take a marble out, that means on this branch here I'm going to have one less red marble. So now I'm only going to have three red marbles, and I'll also have one less marble total. I'm down to three out of eleven for a red. If my first marble is a red and I go to a green for my second marble, I still have my eight total green marbles. I just have one less total because I've already taken a red one out. Similarly, if I had done green on the first time around, I'd still have all four red ones, but only 11 total. And if I'd already taken a green one out, I'd be down to 7 of the green ones out of 11. And again, red or green. So, my possibilities here, again remembering that you need to times along the branches. So if I'm going to times along, that's 4 over 12 times 3 over 11. So 4 over 12 times 3 over 11. And you put that into your calculator. I'm going to get 0 0.0909. And again, timesing along for the other option here, if I did red and then green, 4 over 12 times 8 over 11. That's going to get me 0 0.2424. For my third option here, green and then red, that's 8 over 12 times 4 over 11. That will also get me 0 0.2424. And lastly, two green marbles, so that's 8 over 12 times 7 over 11. That's going to get me 0 0.4242. And keep in mind just one little trick for you guys that those four numbers along the bottom. 0 0.099, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.42, those should all add up to 1 in total as well. But now that we've got the tree complete, we can work on the questions. So if two marbles are drawn at random from the bag, so that's my first and then my second, the probability here that both marbles are green. So we have one way to make that happen, green and then green. We've got my probability, it's going to be 0 0.42. Two. Part C, what's the probability that one marble is red and the other marble is green in any order? Well, I could have red and then green, or I could have green and then red. So it's both of those options, which means I need to add them together, 0 0.2424 plus 0 0.2424 going to be equal to 0 0.4848. And for part D, given the first marble is red, the second marble is red also. So again, this is a given situation where they give us a hint. Given that the first marble is red, so I'm going to start over here. So that means we start on the first marble being red. It's a hint. We're going to start here for part D. So we know that the first marble is red. That means the probability of my second marble also being red is just 3 out of 11 because I would just times along the branch and I only have one option here. So to get from here to here it's just that one possibility, 3 out of 11. If I had more branches after that I would times along those as well. But my probability here is just 3 out of 11 which is also equal to 0 0.273. So remember, with the given probabilities, you 
use that as a hint and start there on your tree so I can skip out that first step. If my first one is red and I know it, then I have a 3 out of 11 shot of my second one being red. <laughs> 